So this is my exhibition, um, A Quiet Place, which is a survey exhibition uh, covering 20 years of work from 1995 to 2015 uh, at the Warnable Art Gallery. The exhibition um, was on from the July 18th to November the 22nd, 2015. So there's oil paintings and charcoal drawings in here um, covering that period. Um, these two paintings here are of the cypress hedges which are predominant in the Western District. Um, this particular painting here was done in 2003 and it's part of the Warnable Art Gallery collection. And then this painting, um, Farm Hedges in Winter, is from 2011. So a similar subject done over a number of years. These two paintings uh, from 2012 were actually done in my Dubai studio and um, for an exhibition that I had at Olsen Irwin Gallery in Sydney in 2012. Um, I was living in Dubai from 2011 to 2014 and I'm currently still dividing my time between there. So these paintings, um, oil paintings, they take about three months each to do, building up the surface with lots of glazes and layers of paint um, and really all about the light, capturing the quality of light and the mood and the space of the landscape. This series of paintings here uh, from my snow series was done around about 2010. Um, I had been living in Abu Dhabi in the UAE for a few years and we visited Scotland and uh, England and so the contrast from the heat to the snow landscapes was immense. Um, this particular painting here is uh, from the Glencoe region of the Highlands of Scotland and it was the first time that I had um, tried to do snow landscapes, so it was a little bit challenging, but it was quite exciting. This one is from um, Castle Howard in um, Yorkshire, which is where the series Brides Had Revisited was filmed. And uh, this one here is also from Castle Howard. But I like the contrast of the striking trees against the, the snow landscapes, and again, the quality of light. That's those paintings there. It's quite a, a beautiful uh, exhibition space. So this painting here, uh, Winter Light, is from 2008. Um, there's a number of the painting next to it's also from 2008. It's early work on paper from about 2003. In fact, that was um, one of the first sort of silhouette trees that I had done. This is an earlier painting, Kaji Landscape from 2004. It was also uh, exhibited in the Wing Prize at the Art Gallery of New South Wales, which is a landscape prize. Some more paintings from around 2007-2008. Windswept Cypress, which is uh, on the cover of the catalogue that the Warnable Art Gallery produced for this show. And that was from my 2008 exhibition at Olsen Merlin Gallery in Sydney. Some, uh, an earlier work and a more recent work. Um, this is quite nice to see how I've, the, I've picked up the sort of looking at uh, light and shade. Um, this, this work here was done from um, my time in living in Dubai influenced by these Arabic lanterns and the, the shadows that they cast on the walls. And this piece here is an oil on paper done in 1995. Um, just really yeah, capturing the sort of effect of water and dappled light. This one here is also from 1995. Um, it was a tribute to a friend of mine, an artist, Eliza Lee Gunn, who passed away. Um, so it's called Eliza's Departure, so it was quite an emotive piece to do. And this is a more recent um, Tops of the Cypress Hedges from 2012. These two uh, charcoals, again from my Dubai, or the series I started in Dubai on Shadow and Light, and uh, looking at the, the shadows of the Bougainvillea plants that were the hack predominant uh, hanging over the garden walls of where we lived. 
Here's some early, more minimal works, which was what I was doing before I got into the more descriptive uh, landscape works. Again, it's always about the, the, the light and the mood, um, sort of trying to capture the essence of something without actually uh, being so descriptive about it. It's a, a painting called Vickers Road, Pamua, which is where I grew up on a dairy farm um, for the first 20 odd years of my life. And that was from 2003. This painting here, um, Road to Whitlands, is quite an early one from around about 2000, 2001. And uh, it was when I was first experimenting with more sort of foggy landscapes and things that are appearing and disappearing. And um, it was quite a sort of a experimental technique wise, but um, I, I remember um, tackling this painting and um, have very fond memories of doing it and it's, it's so nice to see again after all these years because the majority of this work was sold at the time of their exhibitions when they were done. So um, we've borrowed the works from private collections and public collections to put together to, to show in this exhibition. This charcoal drawing, um, Morning Cypress, actually was the beginning of the landscape series that I continued with for the next 12 years or so. Um, this started as char this charcoal drawing then got developed into a large painting which was also hanging in the wind prize at the Art Gallery of New South Wales. And this is a more recent series of um, charcoals on the southwest coast of Victoria and um, 12 apostles. These works were, have really been uh, technique wise influenced by the work I did in Dubai, We're really looking at shadow and light and the strong contrast. So some of the work that I did with the shadow leaves and Arabic lanterns has really influenced this work and the way I've treated the landscape and silhouetted the, uh, the shapes of the cliffs um, so that they're quite striking against the, the light in the, in the seascapes. So this was um, part of a new series that I did that uh, was in a solar exhibition at the same time as this exhibition at Olson Irwin Gallery in Sydney. And just giving a last overview of the show. So I'm um, absolutely delighted to be invited by the Warrnambool Art Gallery to have this survey exhibition. And uh, a big special thank you to Murray Bowes and to Gareth Cullerton who curated the exhibition. And I worked with closely over um, quite a period of time to put this selection of works together for this show. So thank you to all who came to see the exhibition and um, I hope you've enjoyed this little video snap of it. Thanks.